Sustainable future is an issue which concerns me for many reasons. One of them is just the term sustainable. There's a difference between sustainable and sustainability. Often we get the two confused. Uh, local communities, local engagement, uh, working with communities to identify needs rather than wants is an important part of sustainability. Too often we tell people what they need rather than listening to what they need. Too often we say what we want rather than to listen to what they need. So in terms of sustainability, it's not necessarily about longevity. Too often work that is done is long-lifed. It's assumed that by acting over a long period, you will achieve something. It's about effect. It's identifying effect, working on effect, being able to measure effect. Sustainability is about doing something effective, not just doing. SID Washington and SID World Congress really do act as a, an intellectual capital environment for the development world. This is where great ideas come, this is where they're considered, and this is where they should be communicated from. I mean, there are luminaries here who really know this business, who have been in the field. And so it's important to, to be here, uh, and I thank SID Washington and the World Congress for inviting us to be here for that reason. Um, I think in terms of what is going on here. Um, beyond the issue of sustainability, there's a great degree of focus on the private sector and the role of the private sector. The incorporation of a far more stringent understanding of public-private partnerships within that. And I think that's the unused lever uh, within the, uh, the system of power that the United States government has globally. Now we used it very effectively back in late 1940s during the Marshall Plan years and it was understood that it was an instrument of not just national power but security benefit to the United States. We don't look at it that way anymore. You know, we're, how do we incorporate our private sector to help advance our national interests both in terms of business interests, security interests, humanitarian interests? I think there's a gap there and a lot of the discussion here has been about the incorporation of the private sector, public-private partnerships into this dialogue and I think that is a critical way forward, particularly in an age of fiscal austerity and budget stress. I think the, the relationship with Washington and also the Global Congress is really that relationship with the intellectual capital of the development world. Uh, it's, it's making sure that you know, we are true to our values. Uh, that we care, we empower, we perform, and we do the right thing. And it's been part of a community that thinks that way, behaves that way, and performs that way that is so critical to our participation.